Today, U Battery is at the forefront of nuclear innovation, reimagining how we power industry and people's lives through the delivery of clean energy. We're in the process of developing an advanced modular reactor, an AMR, also known as a small modular reactor, an SMR. Not only will our solution combat the impacts of climate change, but it will help society transition to a decarbonised economy. While it is clear that we need to decarbonise, it's not always as clear what the best way to achieve this is. This is especially true for what are known as hard to abate sectors, such as heavy industrial sectors and extractive industries like mining, which struggle to decarbonise the heat and power they need to use. In order to sustain these industries, as well as the jobs and communities they support, we need novel solutions. U-Battery is one such solution. Today, U-Battery are focused on two initial key markets, the UK and Canada. In the UK, what are known as the foundation industries, including paper, glass, ceramics, and minerals manufacturing, require high temperature process heat for their operations, which comes either directly or indirectly from fossil fuels. However, this use of fossil fuels is unsustainable. The UK has rightly set a target to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2050 meaning that these industries need to decarbonize. U-Battery can be that solution, offering cost-effective clean energy. In Canada, we are looking to support another essential industry, one which faces a decarbonization challenge, resource extraction and mining. Mining in Canada is reliant on diesel generation and needs to reduce its dependency on fossil fuels to ensure that it can move to a sustainable, low-carbon solution. Likewise, remote off-grid communities need affordable, clean power to sustainably reduce their energy costs. By using advanced nuclear power, we can provide a solution that tackles climate change. But unlike conventional nuclear reactors, the U-Battery presents a new way of doing things. When you think about the U-Battery, you need to reimagine what you think about nuclear reactors. Our reactor is really small and it would be located on the same site where the power is used. And this makes it a locally embedded source of power. That really brings additional benefits that are just not available to large, centrally located energy sources. The U-Battery is a cogeneration plant. It provides 10 megawatts of thermal power that could be delivered either in a configuration that provides just electricity or high temperature process heat or a combination of the two. That's what makes it a suitable product for the foundation industries or mining or even providing low carbon hydrogen and synthetic fuels that will cleanly power transport, homes and industry. While other reactors and low carbon generation like wind and solar can decarbonise other parts of our economy, we can work to provide a solution for these really tough to decarbonise sectors. The future energy systems will see advanced nuclear technologies working alongside renewables, all playing their part to help deliver a net zero economy. This was part of the vision when we first conceived U-Battery and what has been most exciting to see is what started as a project to develop a concept on paper between the universities of Manchester in the UK and Delft in the Netherlands has gone from concept to reality and is now in the real world with tangible components. A major milestone was when we secured £10 million in funding from the UK government as part of the Department of Business, Energy and Industrial Strategies Energy Innovation Portfolio to progress the design and the development of the reactor. We can now see real progress and a real opportunity. Our estimates show that the AMR SMR market could be valued at £92 billion or 150 billion Canadian dollars by 2040. Thanks to U Battery's scalable output, it can be deployed across a large number of sites, all with slightly different needs. In the UK, U Battery could potentially be deployed at hundreds of industrial sites, which could make a major contribution to their decarbonisation by 2050. Likewise, there is a sizeable prospective market in Canada. There could be as many as 200 U battery units deployed across two key applications there, remote communities and extractive industries. This is, of course, just the beginning and the two markets we are currently focused on, but there is nothing to say that U battery could not be deployed around the world. This is because a core element of the U battery is that we can make use of what is known as modular construction. This means that you can build individual parts of this reactor in a single factory and export them, providing a global solution across multiple markets. 
Probably our proudest milestone, the thing that excites us the most, is the full-sized mock-up of our reactor modules. And this means that we've turned paper plans into the actual mock-up that you see standing behind me. We've delivered this mock-up with our partner, Cavendish Nuclear. Partnerships are a really important part of our vision because it's through collaboration that we can tackle climate change and we're lucky enough to have several world-leading supporting partners. In creating the mock-up, the team have used their capability and experience to capture and answer some of the key front-end questions, assumptions and requirements that are needed for the preliminary concept design and to justify the power plant's operational safety case. That's why the mock-up is essential to the delivery of what will be our first ever power plant. That we've delivered the mock-up in a short period of time, from initial concept through to design, manufacture and assembly, has been a real success for the nuclear industry. And it's demonstrated our ability to deliver critical projects that are on time and within budget. We're working hard to deliver the first new battery by 2028, with construction slated for 2025. And we're excited to help industry and communities build a fairer and cleaner economy that will protect our planet and reimagine our way of life.